Hey, it's Anthony Piacimone here back with another market updates. In today's video, we're going to talk about where we saw the market go this past week, where we think the market's going to go in the coming weeks, and an update on my short position. On the weekend, I'll put out another video going over the trades that I took this past week. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button, especially if you trade futures like ES or NASDAQ. Without further ado, let's dive into the charts. If you take a look at the S&P 500 ES futures on the daily chart, we can see that today, Friday, February 24th, we actually traded down to 39.4750 at a low which was down to the support to the left and then bounced back up. So I took off half of my short position at that 39.50 area. And then I'm looking to add back 50% of my position if we trade back up to a FIB retracement up to the 618, potentially as high as 4080. But so we're not going to get ahead of ourselves yet. Our eventual target is sweeping the lows to the left at 3790. So I personally believe we're going to hit those targets 3790 by the end of March. And we're holding our short for that target. Again, if we trade back up and have a retracement to the 618, 4080, I'll likely add on half my position short again if we haven't reached the 3790 area. My stop loss would be if we made new highs of it back up here because now that we broke below, we should only have FIB retracements back, possibly coming up to you know 4050 area, as high as 4080, super high being 4100. But most likely retracement areas, we're looking at the 38.2 FIB, which is about 4030 as a first target for retracement before we could likely continue lower or as high as 4090. So between 4030 and 4090 being a lower high and then continuing back down uh, by the end of March, trading towards that 3790 area. If you take a look at the rates, you can see that we had really bullish closes on, on a 10 year and two year, which is more pain for the stock market. I personally believe that, you know, if we trade back up to that 3.9 area, then we're gonna have more pain. We were here last video at 3.8. I said, we're just at resistance to the left. We have to close above that. We did that, so we had the sell-off. That's because core PCE inflation came out this morning at 8.30 a.m., hotter than expected. So inflation is ticking back up. It's hotter than expected. All these rates are ticking up. We had a uh, new high on the close of the two-year, so 4.8. When inflation was at its highest, at the 9%, we peaked and sold off. We've closed the highest we've closed. So this means more pain for the stock market as rates go up and the dollar also goes up. This is bad news. So we had a close at 105.2, very high. Last video, we were trading at resistance about like 104 or 103.9. And I was saying, hey, this is still just a lower high. If we can get above this 105 area and close above it, that means that we're gonna keep pushing the upside. This is already looking like we're gonna continue to push to the upside. So we've kind of broke that trend. It's ever since we sweep, swept this liquidity down here, uh, end of May, boom, we broke through and then pushed above. So. We're continuing higher in the dollar. Again, bad for the S&P 500. So we're just gonna continue to keep pushing down. One last confirmation we're taking a look at is HYG. I said in the previous video that we've been tracking, HYG has been tracking with the S&P 500 ever since 2022. So every time we get farther away on the S&P 500 from HYG, then S&P 500 slams back down to meet HYG. So HYG is smart money essentially, it's, it's the bonds, uh, high yield cor corporate bonds. So basically, if we see that we're below uh, this, we're below the lows to the left, at uh, 3,800, we've always traded to it. Uh, if, you, if you can take a look back at my previous video, I went over the history of where it's tracked. So you can take a look at that in the previous video, but that basically means that we have more downside if we're gonna be matching up. Either high yield bonds are gonna start rallying up to meet uh, S&P 500, or S&P 500 is gonna sell off down to sweep the lows to the left to come down to this level where my mouse is now on HYG. I just overlaid HYG over the ES futures. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see more of. If you like the trade breakdowns, let me know. If you also like the market analysis, let me know. I personally see us sweeping the uh, 3,800 level by the end of the March, uh, by the end of March, and then we'll reassess and see where we wanna position ourselves from there. We could trade lower, we could stop right there and then come back up, but we'll have to take it when we get there. Look out for the video that I'm gonna be posting Sunday at 12 o'clock. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.